Hello everyone, I'm Psychotic, and that's also my screen name. We are back with episode 54 of our Medieval Dynasty Season 2. Today I want to do a little bit of a sale run just to make up some of the money that we've been spending on recipes. And then I want to get back to decorating a little bit. I'm hoping to finish around the tavern a little bit, but I also want to get started on a wall around the village. So, uh, and anything else that we can think of along the way is fair game. We're basically just making the place pretty now. So, um... If you guys learn anything useful today, or if you have a good time, please don't be afraid to drop a like. If you're feeling friendly, maybe go ahead and subscribe. But either way, let's go ahead and load in. Alrighty, here we go. Uh, we are a little bit overburdened. I don't remember what all we had on us. It's probably logs and planks and the like, because uh, well, that's 21 planks. A bunch of sticks, some rocks. Random crap from what we've been doing. Um, I thought I had some logs too, but I guess not. And a bunch of clay stuff. But yeah, we, we've got quite a bit going on here. Uh, I'm really happy with how this is starting to shape up. I would like to get it a little bit further along. Oh crap, I forgot we had our kids' quest to finish too. So we're going to start with that. Mm, excuse me. Alright, so we got... Oh, right, we just need to talk to the kid. While he plays with the sword. They went down so fast. I wish I were already as strong as you, Dad. It'll happen sooner than you think. Now let's start with something simple. What do you mean, Dad? What about the huge tavern for me and my friends? Don't be hasty, son. What do people do in taverns? We saw them sit and enjoy food and drink with their companions. That's right, wise guy. In that case, all we need is a table, a bench, and good company for my son. We could fit it near our house, or in the meadow next to the village, or near the river, or... Continue... I can't decide. Help me, Dad. But a log table and a log bench. Seriously? We just built like six of those. He couldn't have started this a season earlier. Uh, silly little runt. A log bench and a log table. So let's do the table against here. We want it in a place where it's out of the way, but it's also not uh, super garish. Alright, there's that. Analog bench. Alright, that's not going to work for us. So that was facing west, so we need to face east. As close to perfectly as we can. This is not going to work the way that I wanted it to, is it? That is very unfortunate. Can we sneak under here? We can. Okay, so we're going to point perfectly east. We're going to line it up between these two. For some reason, though, pointing perfectly east doesn't make the bench look right. Maybe it's because it's a log bench? It looks like we need to be tilted just a little bit. Put it right there. There we go. Looks good. We forgot about the innkeeper and the barrel. One day he will become a fine builder and create more impressive constructions. Remember to always start with the basics and practice. I'm going to build something bigger next time. Sure you will. Off you go now. Alright, well, there we go. So that's the thing that happened. Do we have enough stuff to build? We do. Let's put one of these over here, just for uh, posterity. We could... Can we sneak one in between these? No, it's not going to let us. What about at the corner here? No? Oh, we're out of materials is what's wrong. Alright, well, that's what it is. At least there's one light over here now. I didn't want a full-on street light because it's not a street. It's a little alcove. Very nice little hidden area there. Alright. Well, there's somebody's kid. Miro... I'm not even going to try that name. I'm going to butcher it and it's going to be bad, so... We're just going to put some stuff in storage, and, uh, oops. And we're not going to make any hats this time around. We're not going for big money anymore. Uh, we've got plenty of money. We are going to use the wool from the sheepies to make some more street lights for the roads. We will wind up using a lot of our flax for money, but uh, not all of it by any means. 
because we do need to keep some of it back for decoration and some of it back for uh, the usefulness of things that we need. But I think the wool is going to serve us better as decoration than money now. I mean, we're at 1.1 million. We can push that higher, but why? We're already so self-sufficient that we don't spend money, generally speaking, so there's no real reason to just keep that number going up. Yeah, I actually get to see quite a bit more of my family than I normally would on Thanksgiving because we're doing that memorial for Grandma. So that's exciting. Uh, speaking of, I had originally said that we weren't going to stream Friday because we were doing it Friday. Uh, due to some of the cousins not being able to come in on Friday, we are actually doing it Saturday. So, um, we will be streaming Friday, we will not be streaming Saturday. So I almost spent the whole weekend at work. That sounds like your kind of luck. You know, it used to be a joke, and the older I get, the more I realize it's true most of the time. I don't really have luck. I get exactly what I work for, for good or for ill. If I work hard, I get good. If I don't work hard, I don't get good. So, it's, uh... That's kind of the story of my life. It's also why I'm so obsessive about attention to detail. So a wise man makes his own luck. I don't remember who that quote's from, but it was somebody famous. And it's one of my favorites. It's uh, three of my favorite quotes. I know where one of them came from. The other two, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, one is, a wise man makes his own luck. Another is, if I find myself in a fair fight, something's gone horribly wrong. <laughs> and then my most favorite one is actually from a Jim Butcher novel. And it is, always be polite. It costs you nothing but time and can save as much as your life. Also, for all of you that are from the U.S., happy early Thanksgiving, because uh, we wouldn't normally be streaming tomorrow anyway, but even if we would, we, we wouldn't be, because it's holiday. But, uh, yeah. Uh, the big plan today is to get some selling done to get our money up a little bit more. Um, but we're actually not down as far as I had thought because we've been buying recipes. I wanted to touch our money back up a little bit. And then we are going to, um, maybe do a little bit more around the, uh, inn. But I would like to start on a wall around the village. And I'm not entirely sure yet whether I want it to be palisade or whether I want it to be, uh, actual wood wall. I don't want the stone. I love the way that the stone looks, but it's too short. I want a wall wall around the village. So, we want something a bit taller than that. And I'm not sure which, which uh, fence we're going to use yet, but... Uh... Of course, if we start actually issuing them uh, scythes now, and let them do it themselves, it wouldn't be a huge deal. Because, yeah, we're not going to make as much money, but we're not really pushing for money anymore, so it's not, not really a big deal. Alright, I grabbed way more flour than I think we really needed. So I'm just going to dump a bunch of this back. Oh, I should have put the uh, buckets in here for them. I'll give the bucket people something to do. The bucket people. That sounds like a really cool band name. <laughs> Alright, so we just made... 300 wicker baskets for them to sell. That should hold for a while. I mean, how many baskets can these people need? Did we lose one of our animal caretakers? Because we have seven animals without food. Well, I guess we have three babies. So, but that's still four animals without food, which actually the horses. We must have had a horse baby! No? No, we didn't have a horse baby. 
So, oh, are you guys ready to move home? Can you move home? You cannot move home. You guys live out there now. So I guess two pigs, three sheepies, and two horses. That's two and two is four and three is seven. That checks out. We still use old units for lumber, pipes, and some other stuff. Yeah, fair enough. I don't actually know uh, where you are, Alex. I'm sure you've told me, but I have not internalized it yet. Like, I know Stessa's in Sweden. Pork chops and lamb chops for dinner. Fantastic, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I love me dead animal for food. Romania. Ooh. That's interesting. I don't actually know much about your can your country. Your Canada. <laughs> I don't know much about your Canada. <laughs> it's been a long day. Romania is supposed to be quite pretty, though. Some more logs. Ethnic Hungarian, that's what you speak three languages. That's that's awesome, man. You know, statistically speaking, people people that speak foreign la foreign language people that speak other languages other than their native uh, have a higher IQ. Which oddly enough, they have noticed the same correlation with people that play instruments. Uh, it is the equivalent of learning a language as far as the average change in IQ goes. Really? He has almost no accent. That's impressive. Is he from there or descended from there? Because those are two very different things. Like, I am very German, but I've never been to Germany. My family... I, like, I, I'm second generation American, but... Uh, like, my, my family was from there. I, I am not. I have never been to Germany. I speak very little German. Americans are weird that way, though. We like to claim heritages that we... Uh, technically, we're all just American. But we, we do like to claim our heritage quite often. They are Armenian. Huh. I do enjoy System. They, they are a decent band. High Energy. Very much an early 2000s party band. Not that there's anything wrong with that. There's a time and a place for those two. Excuse me. There's a uh, little icon in the bottom right of the chat column when you guys are talking to me that is there to allow me to send emotes in chat, and it obscures whatever the bottom most comment is, like the last four or five letters of it. And sometimes I can read around it just by context and see what you were talking about, and sometimes I can't. Made a swimming dock one time? That's kind of cool. It's like we're going to want a gap here, and then we're going to want a gap here, and then a gap here for the last row. I don't know. This might not turn out... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this now. Let's see what our options look like before we make any hard decisions. So we know that the log fence actually looks pretty cool. It gets tall. It looks like a wall. I like it. Um, the low plank fence is going to be short. What's the plank fence look like? That is not as tall as I would like. And not that different than the log fence, to be completely honest. Now, palisades. I know what palisades look like. They look kind of almost too military for, for this village, though. I mean, this village is where we make the tools, but for the most part, this village is, is peaceful and farming. So I don't know that palisades really fit. Um, 
What's the wooden? No, the wooden is short. We don't want that one. So we're basically torn between the log, the plank, or the palisades. As far as tall fences go. And I'm really leaning away from the palisades. Originally I had planned to do the palisades, but I feel like it's very, very militaristic looking. It would be awesome for a fort. I'm not sure that it would be great for this. Yeah, I, I saw that too, James. Um, we're actually out of straw because I forgot to turn off uh, straw selling. And that building needs straw for one of the repairs. So that's why he hasn't been able to repair it. I was going to wait until we harvested our um, rye. And then go with that. Uh, for our straw. But maybe we'll just grab a double handful here. So I think we have four things that need it. So we'll grab a little bit of extra as well. And uh, we will have him repair the rest of the buildings. You agree about the Palisades, Melody? So what do you think? Log or plank? They look very, very similar, but there are a, there is a little bit of difference on the top. They look like. Oh, 80's plenty. Hey, fishies. That is a fish ring. We just went bow hunting. Or bow fishing. Hmm. I think it would be hard to get them to line up that way. I kind of like the top of the log fence better. The plank fence is cleaner. But I feel like it's almost too clean. Because of the, how it's flat at the top there. I actually am kind of leaning towards the log fence. And we know exactly what it's going to look like. Because that's what we've got over here. The tall fence with the short... Like, put the short fence like a, a long parallel with it just for looks you don't think the village needs fortifications Alex well we gotta keep the bandits out I mean look at how many damn merchants we've got here why are you not selling anything um how long have you not been selling anything well shit You know what? Let's have her sell um, iron knives. Oh, that means that you didn't get to see any of the cool decorations that we did either. We'll have to go on a tour. We're actually getting ready to potentially put up a wall, or at least a partial wall. Alright, I do want to make sure that we clear out these wolves, though. You saw Wild Links once? I encountered a bobcat once. It was definitely interesting. Alright, let's go hit up the Herald and see what he wants. Because we don't want to accidentally miss that. We have a good king. And you, uh... If you don't do their mission, they have a higher chance to die. So... And then we'll do, uh, we'll do Stesso's tour when we get back and then, then revisit that idea of the fence. I think I want to go with the log fence. I think I like the way that looks. Oh, Bobcat is a type of lynx. Interesting. And we've got our bucket holding it up there. We've got our, our uh, benches and our torches. And then we decorated the bar a little bit here. We got a couple of jugs, some mugs, a bucket. We've got the drunken table. Tipped over bottles and what have you. And then we've got the breakfast table. With bowls and spoons and mugs and a carafe. And that's pretty much all the further we got, because it was an absolute shit show, me trying to get these uh, wooden spears up here. It was... it was a shit show. <laughs> and then these are much, much harder to place than you would think. 
Particularly getting the damn spoons in the bowl. Yeah. Oh, and we had a, uh, a vendor here that was stuck sitting in midair here. So we put a bucket under her so it looked like she was pooping in the middle of the tavern. And uh, took a picture of it. It really isn't. You're, you're absolutely right, Melody. It is not easy to decorate in this game. It takes far more effort than one would anticipate. Yeah. Now there are also some console commands that you can use to uh, allow you to put things where you're not supposed to. Which can be used for cheating, but for the most part people use it for decorating. Just so that you can get things where they look better, because the game by default won't let you. I actually enjoy thoroughly making characters in The Sims and then completely maxing out. Well, yeah, that's what console commands are the uh, the stuff that you you can use to allow yourself to clip things into other things. I don't think you can actually use the console commands on consoles. I think they're only available on on uh, PC. My, my favorite thing to do with The Sims is make a character and then uh, purposefully breed it as early as possible and then get the uh, the five star uh, toddler perk and then the uh, max out all the aspirations as a child so that when they grow up they have the maximum amount of, amount of speed for uh, learning new skills and then I try to max out every single skill in the game and I have successfully done that multiple times and it gives me joy. Please don't land on the house. Son of a... Oh no, it didn't reach. Okay, good. Super Sims, yep. It's surprisingly easy once you, once you get the method down. Because you can also use the uh, emotions to speed it up. So you start with the painting so that you can get the uh, painting aspiration unlocked. Which then allows you to paint emotional paintings when you're not under the uh, effect of emotions. And then you can start painting emotional paintings and putting them in specific rooms with the core to spike emotions as high as possible. Because every skill is linked to an emotion, at which point you learn it uh, 1.25 times faster. And then you have the uh, super sim for the 1.5 times faster. And then if you take your very first aspiration as when you age up from teenager to adult as one of the intellectual ones, that also gives you learning 1.5 times faster. And then because you had all those aspirations as a child, you get enough points that you can spend those to get um, the perks to level up skills faster in the daytime and in the evening. And I've gotten it down to where I can, generally speaking, get a skill from level 0 to level 10 in under 5 minutes. But I also have a very big problem with min-maxing. You always make a family obsessed with sports and a huge garden. I enjoyed Sims 4. I didn't actually play Sims 3. I played Sims 2. I've only been playing Sims from the first. Even played Sims on... I didn't know they had a Sims online. Huh. I missed that one. I played Sims 2 and Sims 4. That's pretty much it. It's hard for me to get serious about the game. Just because, uh, well, I mean, as you're all quite aware, I am not the biggest decorator out there. I am mostly a, uh, min-maxer. <laughs> and those games, they are, they are not ready for min-maxing. You get... <laughs> Somebody like me gets them in their hands and just demolishes the leveling system. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. <laughs> oh, no, no, Stesso. I had, uh, I was going for the achievement for, um, having the, the 26 generations in, in one, one save. And, uh, 
I, I got it to the point where I was breeding daughters, leveling them up through, uh, or uh, aging them up through cakes to get it as quickly as possible, and then having them find a boyfriend as quickly as possible, have a child, and then drown them and their boyfriend so that I could move in as I aged up their kid. It was, it was just a cycle of vicious drowning people. Yeah, the, uh, the child, as a teenager, basically watched their mother and father drown, and then during the same day gets knocked up, and then you have to wait the two days before they have their baby, and then by the time their baby's born, they age it up from infant to child, and then from child to, to uh, or toddler to child, child to teen, and then they get drowned with their bow, and then the child goes on to repeat the cycle. It, did, it didn't take me that long to actually get the achievement doing it that way. But I butchered so many people. I even made a mausoleum under the house. I made a basement basement where I kept all of their urns. And I had the uh, original progenitor of the line, the great-great-great-great-grandmother, because it, it didn't take that long the way that I was doing it, uh, was a painter. So she would paint their likenesses. And then uh, over there, I, I had a, a little table that I would put down where I put their urns and uh, their painting of, because you can do the paint by reference, the, a painting of them sitting in chairs next to each other would go up above their urn. So there was a, a big black marble mausoleum under the, under the pool basement with all of their uh, ashes. It was, it was definitely different. I apparently forgot to pick up a log at some point. I don't think I can pick it up while I'm doing this, though. Getting a new death in the new pack. On December 7th? Oh, that's a hard decision. Isn't the new pack the one that allows you to uh, buy buildings and rent them as a landlord? I thought I remembered seeing something about that. It's just another system for me to abuse horribly. I'm much more interested in Medieval Dynasty. The Sims is kind of a filler game for me. It's it's alright to spend an afternoon or three playing playing it, but it's not something that I play seriously or for very long. Was I, re I was really hoping to get it before Thanksgiving, with because I ordered it... Uh, was a week ago today, or tomorrow? No. It's been more than seven days, hasn't it? I think the weekend was a week. So, Saturday will be two weeks ago that I ordered it. I was I was really hoping to have it by now. Uh, I was going to use Thanksgiving weekend to to get everything set up so that we could transition a little bit easier. And I wouldn't have to kill a stream day to set up the new PC kind of a thing. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh, thank you, Alex. It's in California, Stesso. It is a little over 2,000 miles away. Yeah, I had called them uh, last Friday. Or last Thursday, rather. And... Uh, they had said that the, the reason that it hadn't shipped yet is that it was missing a part that was supposed to be on a truck that came in tomorrow, which would have been Friday. Um, but they still haven't shipped it out, and today is Wednesday, so give them the benefit of the doubt, say that production wasn't working over the weekend. Um, it's still, if they got the part Friday, even if they got it late Friday, should have gone out like Monday or Tuesday. And here it is, the end of Wednesday, and it still hasn't gone out. So I'm, I'm starting to get a little frustrated. And I know, since it hasn't gone out today, that it's not going to go out at least until Monday. Because they're also in the U.S. and it's Thanksgiving weekend, so... Yeah, especially for the kind of money I spent on the damn thing. And I know it's hard to get certain parts right now, but... If it was supposed to be on a truck that came in the next day... I don't know. I'm not real impressed with their customer service, let's put it that way. Oh, 
Although I've noticed that that seems to be a distressing trend in the U.S. right now. Um, we have absolute shit lately for customer service, regardless of where you go. Whether it be a, a, a retail store or a restaurant or even just banks. Like, our, our customer service has been steadily on the decline. And I'm very sad about that. Especially since we chose a service-based economy that is going to hurt us in the long run very badly if we don't fix it soon. But there are also a lot of little nuggets about our country that we are raised through the uh, primary school system to believe are true that it turns out are actually not true at all. Like we are told that uh, a lady named Betsy Ross designed our flag and it turns out that she's actually a fictitious character. There was no such person. <laughs> hey, there's, there's a lot of things that we learn in, in school that are, are not actually accurate. Which is part of the problem that Americans are seen as pretty much stupid by the rest of the world. And we've kind of done it to ourselves. Get right, like Christopher Columbus, yeah. Yeah, the actual story of Christopher Columbus is not nearly as grandiose as we are led to believe when we are children. <laughs> Happens to you a lot. I think we've all done it at least once. Let me tell you though, there is nothing worse than bitching about your raid leader accidentally in guild chat instead of in a whisper. <laughs> oh no, you're fine, Venomous. Always a joy, man. You've done that too, Stasso? Alright, I don't feel too bad then. I don't even remember what I said. It was it was something like, dude seriously needs to remember this is just a game or something like that. And I, I meant to whisper it to my, my real life friend who was also in the raid. And I accidentally posted it in guild where the raid leader also was in guild. <laughs> It was it was mildly embarrassing. I mean, I don't regret what I said. It was honest, but but I I did not intend to hurt his feelings. It was ultimately less of a talking behind somebody's back and more of a, I didn't want to hurt his feelings kind of a thing. The worst is when you try to keep the conversation going to play it off as if you tended to, <laughs> intended to type that. Fair enough. I actually feel quite a bit better with that fence in the back now. Which is funny, because like I said, there's there's nothing wandering that we really have to worry about wandering in and attacking. But, uh, I just don't like having the back of the village open like that. I, it really bothers me. Just like how I don't like sitting with my back to doors. That drives me absolutely insane. I want to be able to see everyone in any given room at any point in time. Oh no, that's not going to even come close to fitting back there. I was hoping that we could get this to fit in this area here. But I don't think... I think because I angled that, it's not going to work. I suppose we could always square this off. Just bust down these through here and square it off. Um, so when you build the uh, windmill... Alex, uh, it, whoops, that's a farm shed. It builds it in two separate parts. So if you build this, you see where the, the gap is there, where the two different floors are? You build the bottom completely before you start even start on the top. So if you just build the base and put up some, uh, uh, crates and things, you can build a watchtower that you can climb up the stairs and stand on and see over the fence. More than two. <laughs> Fair enough, Melody. That uh, that might actually turn out better. 
Let's let's do that. Let's uh, tear this down. I mean, we still have plenty of logs left. Did the chat thing on DayZ? I said I would shoot the owner of the server anywhere I wanted to, and forgot I w forgot it was on. And he said, Plum Bob, you can. And the other guys got mad. He said he can shot, shoot anyone where he wants to. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll rebuild the fence right next to it after it's up. But, but I want to actually get it wedged into this corner here. I also would like the... Um, I want the ladder... Yeah, that'll work. That'll do. Can we get it here? There's a very small window here where we can get it. Like that? Yeah, we can make that work. You can just hop up here and then run up. And then we can build our fencing. So we're using the log fence. We can build that out. And then run it this way. Like we just had it. Oh, come on! <laughs> Work with me, Philly. Do I need to club you with a hammer? We did that to Donkey, and he started behaving. Granted, it was an accident, but it worked. Okay, so you said do the framework and the roof. Just the roof? I want things, but remember that you don't make money like that anymore? I feel you there. It killed me a little inside to buy a new PC. That was money that I could have put with my other investments. Since I've been debt free, I've been trying to invest what little I can scrape together. Past bills and what have you. Because my dumbass did not start planning for uh, retirement until I was in my mid to late 30s. So that's going to be rough. But at least I made it to be debt free. That's that's a huge step in the right direction. So you re realistically shouldn't start uh, investing anything until you are debt-free, uh, because any interest that you make on an investment is going to be overshadowed by the interest charged to you on your debt. Right? I, uh, I paid off two student loans uh, for two different degrees. And the credit card that I got when I was 19 and uh, shredded when I was 20 because I, I learned a very valuable lesson that psych cannot be trusted with a credit card. <laughs> I don't know if we can get one of the, uh, if we can get a torch in here or not, but uh, either way, we can now see over our wall. I would like to put some kind of a torch up in there, though. Retirement is kind of a scam. What isn't a scam? If people can't make money off of it, they're not willing to part with it. Like, that's... That's just the way the world works now, unfortunately. Especially in the U.S. If there's money to be made off of it, it will be a thing. If there's not money to be made off of it, it probably won't be a thing. I am very, very glad that I was a non-traditional student. I think had I gone to school when I was 18 or 19, I probably would not have done very well. 
but I went for my first degree when I was 24, and I think by that point, real life had kicked me in the nuts a couple of times, so I was more than prepared for, uh, you know, school again. That was always one of my uh, running jokes with friends, uh, particularly friends who have children that are now almost teenagers, some of them are teenagers, is, uh, you know, life kicks everybody in the nuts at some point in life. Some people it's very young, some people it's quite a bit older, but at some point it gets everybody. Even those that don't have nuts get kicked in the nuts by life. It's not going to let us put a torch in here. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get a torch in here, unfortunately. I was hoping to be able to light this up a little bit, but that's all right. It would be really cool if we could put one, like, on top of... On top of the, the like, set it here. That would be cool. But I don't think it'll let us. We could put one down there, but I don't know that we really want to backlight. You know, it's probably for the best that there's not a torch up here. Because a torch in the front is going to destroy the night vision of your lookout. And a torch in the back is going to backlight your, your lookout. Either way, it's not a good time for the lookout. Um, yeah, so we got the wall up. We got, we got a watchtower up. I didn't get any of the decoration around the tavern like I wanted to. We never did go on the sail run. Honestly, we still made money anyway, just because of the passive income. But, um... It's starting to come together. It's starting to look really nice. And I thank you all very, very much for your input and your ideas. They are definitely helping make this better than I ever could have on my own. So, thank you very much for that, guys. That's not a bad idea, Stesso. I wonder if the lampposts that require wool, if we can post them up, if they're tall enough to reach over... Because if we could put one here, but have the light hang over the fence, that would be super cool. Well, let's go look. Since we have a couple of them up, we can compare them to the fence over there. Okay, so... A little less than a jump. Like a half jump. I actually think it can. I think if we can get it to sit right, if we can get the pole right up against this, I think we can hang the light over. As I think the lamp, the lantern itself is going to hang too low, but I think if we get it close enough to the fence, that the fence would pass right through here. I don't even know that we're going to have to... Uh, use a ghost fence to clip it through, Stesso. I think we might just be able to... Yeah, man. Oh, yeah! I can dig it. Alright, we'll work on that on Friday. So remember, guys, um, that I, I was incorrect earlier in the week. We are st uh, streaming Friday. We are not streaming Saturday. Uh, we had to move it for some cousins to be able to make it. So, we're, we're going to have the, uh, the memorial Saturday, not Friday. But, uh, yeah. We got our decorating done. We're, we're, we're coming along. We're coming along nicely. But it is that time of the night, so I will catch you guys Friday. For all of my uh, U.S. viewers, happy Thanksgiving. And for those of you that aren't uh, in the U.S., happy Thursday. And uh, we will catch you guys next time. So if you guys learned anything useful or if you had a good time, please don't be afraid to drop a like. If you're feeling friendly, maybe go ahead and subscribe. But either way, you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and we will catch you next time.